Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll take a look into time leap link expressions. Well, link expressions are meant to build URLs in a time leap templates. And notice here, this is the syntax for link expressions. At the rate, within a curly braces, we need to pass the link. And notice here, this is the example for link expressions. If you can notice here, we are using at the rate within a curly braces and we are passing the link. Well, in order to build the URLs in a time leap templates, we use a link expressions. And you can see a couple of examples like we can use a link expression to pass the parameter in a URL. For example, here slash message slash ID and we can pass the ID you know, dynamically to this URL. And you can notice here we are using link expression to point to the external CSS library. Okay, at the rate within a curly basis and then CSS folder within that demo.css file. Okay, now let's go and let's see how to use a link expressions in an action. So let me go to IntelliJ IDEA and let's first of all define the handler method. So go to user controller and here let's define the handler method. So let me write the comment handler method to handle link expressions. Perfect. And let's create a method public and the return type of the method is string and let's give a method name as link expression all right and let's go ahead and let's annotate this method with add get mapping annotation to handle http get request and let's give url as a link hyphen expression okay and let's return the thumbnail template view that is link hyphen expression okay perfect well whenever user hit this link in the browser for example let me copy this link and paste it over here and let me change accordingly so instead of message just pass link okay so whenever user hit this link in the browser then this handler method will get called and this handler method returns link hyphen expression thumblip template view name next let's create this thumblip template and then we'll see how to use a link expressions so go to templates folder within that let's create a html file let's give name as link expression and then let's give a title something like link expressions perfect next let's define the xml namespace for time leap so go to html element here just type xml namespace colon th and then http www dot time leap dot org next to go to body within the body let's have s2 element to define the page heading let's view page heading something like link expressions demo perfect next let's use anchor tag and then let's use a timely attribute that is th colon href and then let's use a link expression syntax here at the rate well within a curly basis we need to pass the link isn't it so if you go to user controller we have a handler methods with different links like variable expression selection expression message expression right so let's go and let's pass these links. So let me copy this variable expression and go back to link expression and here just paste it slash and then variable expression and let's give name as a variable expression. Okay, so this is how we can use a link expression to define a link for this anchor tag. All right, and this th colon href family part of it will evaluate this link expression. All right, so similarly what we'll do, we'll define one more uh, you know link using link expression so let's type anchor tag over here and then let's use th colon href and then let's use a link expression syntax at the rate within a curly basis just pass the url something like selection hyphen expression perfect and let's give a name to the link something like selection expression perfect now let me run the Spring Boot application and let's see how this works. Let's go to browser and let's type localhost 8080 slash link hyphen expression and hit enter and here you can see variable link okay and selection link. Well if you click on this variable expression link it will call variable expression handler method and if you click on selection expression it will call selection expression handler method it means that we have successfully defined the links using link expression 
Now let's see how to pass a parameter to the link using link expressions. So in order to define the parameter, we need to pass a parameter to the model. So go to user controller and go to link expression handler method over here. And here let's pass the model to this method. And let's pass some data to the model model dot let's use add attribute and then let's pass id and let's view value as a one next let's see how to pass this id as a parameter to the link using link expressions so let's go back to link expression dot html file and here let me have a paragraph element and then within that let me have a anchor tag and within that let's have a timely attribute th colon href all right and let's use a link expression syntax at the rate within a curly braces just pass the link so link is link hyphen expression and then we pass a parameter as id to this link so let me copy this link hyphen expression and let's go to link expression dot html file paste it over here and in order to pass the parameter in this link we use curly braces within a curly braces we pass the parameter name that is id and we need to pass the value to this id dynamically isn't it for that here is a syntax open and close braces id equal to well we have stored the id value in a model for example if you go to user controller we have stored id value in a model by using this attribute name so let's go and let's use a variable expression to access a model data so let's go to link expression and here let's use a variable expression that is dollar within a curly braces just pass id next let's give name to the link let's say link with parameter all right perfect now let's rerun our spring boot application and let's see how this works well our spring boot application is up and running let's go to browser and let's refresh and you can see here we have a link with parameter link so go ahead and click on this link and notice here the id is successfully passed in the url okay it means that we have successfully defined the url that has a parameter by using link expressions okay so let's say if we have a requirement to create a link in a timely template and you need to pass a parameter to that link then you can go ahead and use this link expression syntax okay next let's say how to use a link expression to point to the external css file so let's say you have a css file inside this static folder so let me create one more folder within th within this static folder so let's say css within this css folder let me create one file let's say demo dot css let's write some code so let me provide some styling for this anchor tag so let's say font font size let's give point size as a 25 pixel now let's go and let's see how to use a link expressions to point to the external css file so here go to title after that let's have a link element and then let's have a link expression so let me post close this link and then here th colon href thumbnail attribute and then link expression syntax at the rate within a curly braces slash and then css and then demo dot css so this is how we use a link expression to point to the external css library okay and notice here slash is meant for here a root okay so this will point to the context of our spring boot application so don't forget this you know slash this slash means here root and then followed by the folder name is css and then within that folder we have demo.css file okay perfect next well this is a style sheet for that let's have a style sheet value here perfect now we have used link expression to point to the external CSS file. Okay, now let's run the Spring Boot application and let's see how this works. Well, go to browser and let's refresh this link that is localhost 800 slash link expression and just right click on this page, inspect and go to, you know, network and in a network section, you can able to see demo.css. So just right click on this file and click on open in a new tab and there we go you can able to see font size 25 pixel it means that we have successfully used link expressions to point to the external css file in our timelip template 
and if you can notice here the font size of these links it becomes a 25 pixel because we have defined a font size 25 pixel for the anchor tag element isn't it it means that we have successfully used a link expression to define a different urls over here i hope you understood how to use a link expressions in a timelip templates in next lecture we'll see how to use fragment expressions all right great i will see you in the next lecture